So now we're in the outside of this house, we'll go inside. I'm gonna point out a couple of things. It doesn't look that bad because it's not in that bad of shape. Look how it's loose and wiggly. It's gotta be completely redone and resecured the whole darn thing. And if you look closely at the underside, the soffit in this porch, that's actually eight inch siding used as soffit. We gotta get rid of all that and reinstall it. Then we've got eight inch aluminum siding here. And so one of the things I like to do when I'm thinking about what kind of siding to put back on a house, I wanna redo it or not, is I look at the neighbors. What do they have? So we've got eight inch siding here, eight inch over there, eight inch there. That's vinyl siding, that's vinyl siding. And they have some eight inch siding next door as well. So we could get away with leaving it, but we've got to, this stuff right here is blue stuff with a hole in it. We've got all the soffit that's installed incorrectly. We're doing a new roof. It's like, why not just go the extra mile, spend the extra 8,000 bucks or so to reside this house and really make it pop and I think get top dollar on it. So our roof will look like the one next door. So they probably have a torch down roof, really flat pitch. You could do a flat torch down flat roof like a row house, which is what's on our property. But as you saw earlier, there's a roof leak inside. So we got to do something. So we're just going to put shingles over it. And I think that'll look very, very nice and uh, give a long lasting roof as well. So a lot of work to be done here, but it's a fun project.